Iran has developed advanced air defense systems like the Bavar 373. So why didn't Iran intercept Israeli fighter jets if they really entered Iranian airspace? Let's look at the reasons. First, Israeli F-35s are stealth aircraft. They're designed to avoid radar detection. Their radar signature is extremely small, like that of a bird or insect. Even advanced systems like Bavar 373 can struggle to detect them, especially in real combat conditions. So second, air defense is honestly not perfect. Iran just can't cover every inch of its skies, you know? Mountains, valleys, and all that natural terrain can block radar signals. Israel may have used low-flying paths or even electronic jamming to avoid detection. Third, Israel is actually known for having really strong electronic warfare and cyber operations. Before a jet even enters enemy airspace, Israeli systems might jam radars or hack into defense networks. This can, well, delay or totally confuse Iran's response. Fourth, Iran might have seen the jets but just decided not to react. Shooting without a clear hit could, you know, expose some weakness. Or maybe Iran chose to monitor the situation and respond later in a more strategic way. Fifth, Bavar 373 is not deployed everywhere. It's placed mainly around high-value targets. If Israeli jets avoided those areas, they may have entered through less protected zones. Sixth, F-35s can fly very low to the ground. At such altitudes, they can avoid radar detection. Most ground-based radars are more effective at detecting higher altitude threats. Lastly, there may be political reasons. Sometimes countries don't reveal all incidents. Israel might claim to have entered Iranian airspace to show strength. Iran may downplay it to avoid public panic or keep its defense plans secret. In summary, even with the Bavar 373, Iran faces serious challenges. Stealth technology, electronic warfare, difficult terrain, and strategic choices all play a part. Modern air defense is powerful, but not perfect. 